That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Yeah, fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. All right. Chloe. I'll see you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, 
Good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. It is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. That's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Khan. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money, and a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. 
Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait. Just hold on a sec. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now, wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need, no need. Uh, uh, I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> here they are. Hurry it up, you haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. 
Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Search the Crap! Right out! Stay down, kid. I... Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Almighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway path to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move.
Come on, keep moving. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. This way. Oh, damn. Now what do we do? We jump. Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> shit. When you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. We got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better. Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Well, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah! I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe. Now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. I don't like these odds. No? No, I think maybe we should cut over to the hotel a different way. Just avoid this crew altogether. I'm sorry, do you have a plan to go along with that grenade? Yes, I do. I'm gonna circle around this way, break up their little party. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. I need you to take care of him. But uh, do it quietly. Do it quietly? Yeah. 
Are you sure about this? Desperate times, right? What does that mean? <sighs> well, that was unpleasant. You must have hit a generator. Give me a hand. Just a little more. Nate, move! It's no good. I'm gonna have to fix the power to get you out. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I wish I'd brought something to read. Looks like the circuit breaker's on the top floor. Just sit tight, I'll take care of it. Well, here we are. Now we just gotta find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell me about it. Maybe we can... Oh, bingo. There it is. That's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. The one in the middle of all the gunfire and explosions. Lucky us. Nate, that's right where Lazarevich is camped. I was hoping we'd be headed in the opposite direction. Well, desperate times, right? Drake has been spotted in Sector 18. Oh, crap. Any chance this is Sector 19? Sweep the city, find him, and take him out. Son of a bitch. All right, time to go. Whoa, hey, hey, don't you... Hey! <sighs> Nate? What the hell are you doing here? Elena? Jack, don't! Wait, you know this guy? Yeah. This is Drake. Oh. Sorry. So, what's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? It's nice to see you two. I suppose you're here for some noble crusade, right? Actually, we're trailing a fugitive war criminal. Zoran Lazarevich, have you heard of him? Isn't that NATO's job? Well, they think that he's dead. Killed in some bombing raid. Oh, and you're here to prove otherwise. You know what? This guy's a real monster, Nate. We're talking torture, mutilation, mass executions. See, now he's, he's plotting something new. But why out here? Why, why tear apart the city, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh. Well. No. Tell me you don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you are, Nate. I think I lost them. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's all right, Chloe. They're journalists. Oh. Oh. We need to keep moving if we want to stay one step ahead of Lazarevich, so... Oh, man, Nate. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Now, don't jump to conclusions, Elena. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I sensing some history here? Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Yeah. No. No. Glad you find this so funny. Well, it's, I never figured you for the white bread picket fence type. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks, thank you. <sighs> oh. Oh, what? She broke your heart. Oh, please. She did. Hey, you didn't know what? She? Maybe I broke hers. Oh, yes, Casanova. We need to get moving. Uh, wait. Um, they're coming with us. Can't be serious. Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I can't just ditch them in the middle of this mess. They're only going to slow us down. And if uh, we Chloe. Caught, if Lazarevich catches you and me together... I'm not leaving them behind. You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know? Nate! Just dance with the one who brought you, all right? Yeah, I get it. They're still coming with us. Well, we don't need saving, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to rethink that. Shit. Run! How about that, huh? You brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after, anyway? See that symbol up there?
It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. The stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. All right, we should be saving here for now. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. Right. Promise me you'll stay put. We'll be right back. Famous last words. <laughs> Whoa. That's amazing. Chloe, I know where that is. It's right here. You see the shape of, of that peak there? Uh-huh. Here it is. Which means... Uh, let me use your back. Which means... The entrance to Shambhala must be right here. So, we did it. We did it. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, crap. That kills the mood. There's only one way out of here. You ready? Let's go. We better keep moving. He's hit. I'm okay. Let me see. Oh. All right, you're gonna be fine. All right? Think you can stand? I think so. All right, come on, hop in. No. No, 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 leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Oh. 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 Nate. He's fine. Aren't you, Chief? All right, get the door open. He's never gonna make it. We have to leave him. What? No! Uh, get the door open, Chloe! You're gonna get us all killed! <laughs> It's all right, we can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you don't. We don't have a choice. I can't. I can't. Nate? Okay. You tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave him here to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Chloe. I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Up the stairs! Sorry. Drop the guns. Seriously. Get her out of here. She's hurt. Take her to the train. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. So, this little man is Drake. Mm. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. No! Now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for, okay? I know where the stone is, but you're not gonna find it without me. So just 
Just let her go, and I will lead you right to it. Ah, my shadow. You are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. <laughs> that is brilliant, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Return to the staging ground. Prepare to move out. You, come with me. You. Take care of them. No problem. How can you work for that monster? Beats working against him, love. So that's it, huh? Just gonna mow us down in cold blood? Looks that way, doesn't it? Get up. I said get up! Oh! Ah! Run! Stop that! This way! Get down! You alright? Yeah. Never better. You? Nothing I won't heal. Uh, um, okay. Uh, I think we lost him. Never should have got you into this mess. You didn't. I got here on my own. No. Nah. I mean, you know, the, the rest of it. Oh, we knew what the stakes were. Okay, so, uh, what do we do now? I'm going after her. Huh. Of course you are. Typical. Go after her. <laughs> Flynn said something about a train. Which means they would have taken her to the rail yard. Here. So it should be that way. Past the water tower there. Nate, she pulled a gun on us. I know. She was about to pull the trigger, too. They just beat her to it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Flynn knew she was with me. If Lazarevich finds out she double-crossed him, you know what he'll do to her. Yeah, I've seen his handiwork. Then you know I don't really have much of a choice. Honor among thieves, huh? Something like that. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> ah, good to know that some things just never change. <laughs> okay, let's go. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming with me. Nate, shut up, okay? We have a train to catch. Oh. So you got a plan B? I'm working on it. There she is. Flynn's got her. Second thoughts? No. Okay. They're about to take this show on the road, so we're gonna have to move fast. Now I'm going down there alone. No, Nate. Wait, wait, wait. Just listen. You never listen. Meanwhile, you're gonna go over there, snag us one of those nice looking four by fours. Four by fours. Oh. You're gonna be the wheel man. I'll sneak in, I'll grab Chloe, and you come in right behind us. With the getaway car. With the getaway car. Yep, got it. Got it? I got it. Go! Yeah, floor it. What? I'm getting on that train. What are you, crazy? Just get me close enough to jump. I guess that answers that question. Step on it! So, how do you plan on getting her off that speeding train? I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. Okay, here we go. No, hold on, hold on. You're almost there. Just... Now! Jump! Oh. Ah. Jerkweed. 
<laughs> Save my ass again. Are you all right? Get off the train, mate. What are you talking about? You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right. So get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. What did you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Well, good luck with Flynn. We deserve each other. You know, I can't believe... No. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? No witty remark? Nothing clever to say? I don't. No! Oh, no, you don't! Stop. Just let him go. Put him out of his misery! How did I get here? How long have I been out? Yeah. Tung, Tung. Thanks. Uh, no, no, no. That's that's plenty. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Thanks. Yeah, Yeah. Sure. Shepherd Karan Gudesha. Sure. Go Karan Yam the Kajashi Gudesha. The hell am I? Sure. Yen Yam the Shaw. Look. 
Gatsu, Yinpei? Love us, Yinpei. Just when I thought I had nothing left to lose. Nate! Oh, thank God you're all right! <laughs> I'm sorry, I... It's all right. Elena, tell me you have some idea of what's going on. I mean, how long have I been here? Hey, only a few days. I followed the tracks to the wreckage. What the hell happened? Uh, you were right about Chloe. Turns out she wasn't exactly looking to be rescued. Wait, did she do no, that? No, no, I have Flynn to thank for this. Chef a good dish up. Yeah, yeah, me I got to some. Come on, there's somebody who's anxious to meet you. So, our mysterious guest awakes. Nate, this is Carl Schaefer. How are you feeling? Good, thanks. Good, good. Please, sit. It appears you and I have much in common, Mr. Drake. Is that so? Yes. Seventy years ago, I came here just like you, carried into the village near death, the last survivor of my company. I was hired to lead an expedition into Tibet to find the entrance to Shambhala. What they really wanted was the Chintamani stone. So, my friend, where did you find this? Borneo. Why? This is the key to Shambhala. It's the one object your opponent desperately needs, even if he does not know it yet. <laughs> oh, I think he knows. Look, I'm very grateful for everything you've done for me. I really am. But I'm through with all this. So, they have beaten you, huh? Your quest is over? Yeah, that's right. What if it's only beginning? Where did you find this guy? <laughs> Trust me, young man. Your ego will mend. You're just lucky to be alive. Yeah, you know, people are always telling me how lucky I am. But the truth is, everything I touch turns to shit. Nate. No, Elena, I'm done. Now, come on, I'm through playing the hero. Your adversary will not give up so easily. He will not stop until he possesses the thing he desires. Oh, yeah? Well, more power to him. Power is precisely the problem. <laughs> Some of the most fearsome rulers through history have possessed only a fragment of the Chintamani stone. Men like Tamburlaine, Genghis Khan. If a mere sliver could bestow such power, what would a man become if he possessed the stone itself? This is crazy. It's got to be what he's after, Nate. Then Lazarevich really is a nut job. He's chasing a myth. And what if he's not? Oh, Helena, come on. Oh, I mean, what if it's true? We've seen what he's capable of. I understand your doubt. You require proof. Something you can see with your own eyes. Tenzin, Tinsan and Tara Tingondre. Find the remains of my expedition, and you will have your proof. Tenzin will guide you. Sure. I hope I live to regret this. Just come back in one piece. Don't suppose you speak any English, do you, pal? Looks inviting. What's it say? Do you touch anything? Why do I ask? Do you song? I'm not so good with charades, pal. Wait. Tenzin! Why do you need that? Hope there's another way out of here. <laughs> Drake, tell us shot. This 
must be them. Schaefer's expedition. Well... Oh. Chintamani stone. Huh. More resin. Hello. Did you look at this? These men were all shot. Yeah, Tada. Oh, that's the uh, Irman Sul. It's uh, the life tree. The Honor Nerbe. Oh, Jesus. They were SS. Uh, Nazis. Nazi? What would a man become? Tenzin, Schaefer did this. Ah. Schaefer killed them. Mare, mare. Yes. It's the only way to stop them. Oh. Oh, shit. We have to find a way out of here. Now. Pesas Pema. Thank God. Oh, Nate. What happened? It's Lazarevich. They found us. Pema Ka. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Schaefer's got her. Cut it. Mol Schaefer and Yum Dudo. Schaefer? They went the other way. All right. Nate, this is our fault. We did this. Just stay here. We keep them safe. Come on. Zhang Sheng, I'll get you. What? I'll get you. Zhang Sheng, I'll get you. Shiver, big Holy shit! Oh crap! Jump! Jump! Tenzin. Bema. Quinto King. Schaefer. Where's Schaefer? They can't see you still. Nate. They took Schaefer. Oh, God. It's because he had the dagger. Uh, I know. Uh, hey. No time to argue. We gotta go. All right. Well, at least scooch over. Okay. All right. They must have taken him in the lead car. We gotta stop him before Lazarevich gets a hold of him. All right. I have an idea. Well, what are you doing? I'm gonna clear the road. Here, take the wheel. What? Just take it. Why didn't you just let me drive in the first place? I didn't think that far ahead. Yeah. All right. Hold it steady. Okay. That's good.
way they survive that. Let's go. like old times, huh? You could say that. So now what? We head to the creepy old monastery. What else? There's Schaefer. Damn it. What's happening? Lazarvish has him. Oh no. Ugh. You ready for this? As I'll ever be. <laughs> oh no. It's okay. We're here. You are right. About what? Everything you touch does turn to shit. <laughs> All right, come on. We're gonna get you out of here. No. What do we do? Did you find my expedition? Yes, I found them. You understand what I had to do? Yes. If they had found the stone, it would have changed the course of history. <coughs> okay, easy, easy. <sighs> He took the dagger. I know. He's gone to the tower. You have to stop him. Uh, try, try not to move. Uh, this monastery hides the secret path to Shambhala. You must get the dagger back, find the secret path, and destroy the stone before he gets his hands on it. Drake. You have to believe. Oh. Schaefer. Oh, Nate. We can't just leave him. What choice do we have? You heard him. Do you think all this really could be true? I don't know. But he believed it. That's enough for me. Okay. I think we should split up. What? No, listen. I'll go scope out the secret entrance thing, and you go to the tower and figure out how to get that dagger back. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, just keep your head down and uh, stay in radio contact. Yeah, okay. Good luck. I'm tired of your excuses. Look, give me some more time. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> I have given you enough time. I have brought you the dagger. Now, where is the gate to Shambhala? Look, Zoran, we know... <laughs> I have not come this far to be thwarted by your incompetence. We know the answer is somewhere in this room. We just have to find it. Meanwhile, Drake remains just one step behind you. I clearly hired the wrong man for the job. What an asshole. I'll, uh, I'll try to smooth things over with him. Just stay here. See what you can work out. That belongs to me. Nate? Get out of here. Give me the dagger. They'll be here any Chloe, minute. Chloe, don't make me take it from you. How am I supposed to explain where it's gone? Well, you'll think of something. You always do. Just... 
Just do one thing for me. Take that son of a bitch down. Stay behind me. Drop the gun. Do it! Stay back! Shit. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book or two. Mm. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, they were all great men. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> Compassion is the enemy. Mercy defeats us. Now, unless you wish to test me still further, you will drop your weapons! Do it. Kick them away. So, you have tested my will. Now it is my turn to test yours. Killing us won't get you anywhere. Or killing him, yes. But you? You hurt her. You get nothing from me. Well, then it appears we are at a stalemate. Unless I add another pawn to the board. Bring her in! Shit. Oh. Get your hands off me. <laughs> now, one we will use as a lesson, and the other we will use as incentive to cooperate. You choose. This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help, you let them go. This is not a negotiation! Who would you sacrifice, and who would you save? What, this one? You want to save this one? Or maybe this one? Hmm? You know what? Enough of this shit. All right, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. Calm down. You, asswipe. Give me your lighter. Should I know? Find a way across. And fix it! And take him with you. Maybe this time it will get done right. Oh, and Mr. Drake. Don't try anything clever. After you. Ah! 
Hold him. What the hell are those things? <laughs> what? Scarecrows. Guardians to frighten trespassers. Yeah? Well, it's bloody effective! Zarvich, you've done what you asked. Let them go. Always bargaining. But you have played your last hand. And lost. Looks like it's the end of the road, mate. No, 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 no. Not yet. I want him to see Shambhala. And die knowing that I have taken it from him. Open the gate! been a thorn in my side for far too long. On your knees! Well, hey, hey, uh, Zorin, we had a deal. I do not suffer traitors. Oh, right, so I suppose you know exactly how to find stone then, won't be needing me. Thanks. On your knees! What is this? Fire, you fools! Run! Go! Onto the bridge! Someone else made it in here before us. Let's hope we have better luck making it out. Yeah. These bodies look like they've been here 60, 70 years. Hey. Didn't seem to do them much good, but here. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Well, Lazarovich and his crew will have headed into the city, so if we can just make it back to the entrance, it should be clear by now. Uh, no, Chloe, we're going after the Chintamani stone. <laughs> what? We have to stop Lazarovich. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Get to the stone first before he does and destroy it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're buying into all that supernatural nonsense. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, well, just in case you missed it, that man is certifiable. He thinks he's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of Shambhala, and you're questioning what's possible? Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? Something strange is going on here. All the more reason why we should get out while we still can. Uh, I'm just trying to set things right. And maybe save the world? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, sunshine. The world doesn't care. You stick your neck out, you are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you want to take this guy down. Yes, and I want to see him pay more than you do. But that's not how it will end. This, this is how it will end. No, not this time. <sighs> Come on. What do you say? That you're crazy. But let's go save your bloody world. There it is. The Chintamani stone. I can't believe we beat them here. It's beautiful. Yep. Magnificent. <clears throat> now let's smash it and get the hell out of here. Uh, wait. Something's not right. What do you mean? Why 
Marco Polo had it wrong. This isn't a sapphire, it's amber. Amber. Yeah, you know, fossilized resin. It's tree sap. Wait a minute. What is it? You gotta be shitting me. Hello, Nate. I hate it when he does this. Tell me about it. How could I have missed it? Missed what? There's not actually a stone. It's the resin, the sap from the Tree of Life. Okay, hold on. Now you've lost me. This tree. No. That tree. There he is. Lazarevich. He's headed to the tree. Oh my god. The black teeth. What? The black teeth on those guardian things and the bodies in Borneo. They ate the resin. And it changed them somehow. And you think that's what Lazarevich is planning to do? You really want to wait around and find out? Bravo, Sherlock. <laughs> well done. Flynn? Jesus. Oh, Harry. What's the matter, mate? Disappointed Lazara bitch beat you to it? I'm afraid you just missed him. Figured I'd stay behind and wait for you to come join my little party. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe that's what old Zoran wanted all along, eh? He's cleverer than he looks. Well, we can still stop him. <laughs> Elena, don't. No, oh, we can help you. Sorry, love. This isn't a movie, and you're not the plucky girl who reforms the villain and saves the day. It's just not done like that. Flynn, listen to me. You... Parting gift from Nazarevich. Pity he took the pin. Get back! Elena! <laughs> no. Oh my god. Elena! Okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. Come on. Just stop, Lazarevich. Go. Not a chance. Come on. Oh, shit. It's all right. I've got her. You cover us. All right, this way. All right. I think that's the last of them. Hey. Hey, Elena, how you doing, huh? Not good. You just hang in there, okay? I'm counting on you. Head for the gate. Go as fast as you can. What, what, what do you mean? No. No way. Look, Chloe, I have to end this. No, you don't. Don't you dare take on this stupid crusade. <laughs> Just get her out of here. Not without you. Look, if that stuff could really transform Lazarevich and his army... Please don't do this. If it could actually make him invincible, and I didn't try to stop it... But this is suicide. And you know it. Just go. Get as far away from this place as you can. You're not my type. <laughs> no. No, 
no, no. You have got to be kidding me. But you're no different from me, Drake. How many men have you killed? How many just today? That's it, boy. No compassion. No mercy. Just hold on. Come on, stay with us. You're gonna be okay, all right? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be just fine. Elena, don't do this. Elena! So, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> you know, you should play the hero more often. It suits you. Nah. <laughs> Tell me something, Nate. What? Do you love her? Chloe, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Really, it's all right. Just do yourself a favor, cowboy. Tell her. Chloe. No. My turn to walk away. But admit it. You're gonna miss this ass. <laughs> well, look who's not supposed to be out of bed. Yeah. He's a lousy patient. Stubborn as all hell. I'm not stubborn, I'm just restless. <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. <laughs> and you're sure of that? Yes. <laughs> just a metaphor, I'm afraid. Metaphor ain't gonna pay your bills, kid. Well, something else will come along. Just gotta have faith. Yeah. That and a quarter will get you 25 cents. <laughs> uh, which way'd Chloe go? See you later. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a dirty old man, Sullivan. Uh-huh. <sighs> you did good, Nate. <sighs> I think he'd approve. Yeah? Uh-huh. 
where do we go from here, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. Good. So, on a scale of one to ten, how scared were you that I was going to die? Four. Four? Yeah, why? A four. four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? Clowns. Clowns over my death? I... I hate clowns. clowns. I hate clowns. Oh, my word. You thought I was dead. No. No, you thought I was no, gone. No. Yes, you did. No, I, I saw had you, you all shed along. tears. You shed a bunch of them. Tears? Mm -hmm. It was raining. No, it was not. <laughs> you were unconscious and it was raining. It was totally sunny out and you were bawling. It wasn't sunny. You were unconscious. Whatever. I kept your tears in a jar. I have proof. I'll give you.